Imagine living with this. Here we go again, 8 o'clock in the morning. This is what construction work by HS2 is doing to flats around Euston. So I'm videoing this from the bedroom in our flat here in Cartmel. Carol has lived here with her family for 17 years. Being surrounded by a building site is totally draining. I want out, yeah, we, you know, we want out. My family, we want out. She has had no compensation and she now wants to leave. It's absolutely horrendous. It's, um, it's just a, a nightmare day on a daily basis. You're just surrounded by, it's like living on the building site, surrounded by all the, the, the noise and the dust and the just continuous drone of, of, of machinery, construction machinery. There is a misconception that HS2 only affects the Chilterns and the countryside, but actually Camden Council has lost the most homes. Hundreds have gone and about 170 are still being affected. This mega project is changing huge parts of the capital. There are pictures of people opening their windows and there's a digger right outside. It's, it's so close and, and they feel that impact every single day. And, you know, they, they've got, you know, children who are developing asthma. They, they say that they can't learn. They, they you know, they, they've come to us and they said they just literally can't live like this anymore. The council thought it had an agreement for the government to pay for new flats for these residents. But talks have stalled. The council is asking for £120 million. There's so much money being spent on this project. Some of it should be invested in housing vulnerable people who are living in unbearable situations. HS2's construction is speeding up. This is a huge site near Denham, near the M25, where tunnel boring machines will go under the Chiltern Hills. HS2 will increase capacity and cut journey times to the north. Personally, I think it's a worthwhile project. In the end, we need to bring more infrastructure into the country. You can see the railways are all already over capacity. The government says it's trying to find solutions and HS2 is working with the council to help residents. In Camden, though, they feel forgotten and say they shouldn't have to endure living in these conditions. Tom Edwards, BBC London.